Right. And with that, we bring in a man who often has a few things to say about the border and the border crisis, whether it's here on television or on the radio in Indianapolis, across the Midwest, and on the World Wide Web as well. Mr. Tony Katz, good to see you, sir, uh, as always. As Jillian pointed out very adeptly, the president and the administration seem to view this as a winning political issue. Are they right? Oh, oh, 100 percent. It's absolutely a winning issue. Illegal immigration is a problem. They're the ones who have come in with a plan to do something about illegal immigration. You don't have to like it. But the Democrats' plan is no. That's their whole plan, so they don't have a plan. According to Representative Ocasio-Cortez, if you come with a plan, you're the boss. Donald Trump's the boss. He's got the plan. The people want a plan. But no one should be surprised. And I think uh, what you played there from the president a few months ago is absolutely correct. No one should be surprised that an activist judge made right. a decision that somehow the president can't actually be the president. We've seen that a lot. It, it brings up an important point, though, in terms of really how much the president's supporters are going to give him leeway on how much of this wall has been built. There was a headline on the Drudge Report not too long ago, wall stall less than two miles built. You can argue back and forth over the semantics of this, but there is a crisis at the border. There are people flowing over every day and every minute, essentially unhindered and overwhelming the immigration system in the United States. At some point, does the president run out of people to blame, or can he get through uh, the 2020 election before that happens? Well, every time a roadblock comes in his way, he gets the point to the roadblock. I would have the wall built if these judges would just let me do my job and stop thinking that they're in charge. I could have the wall built if Democrats actually admitted that illegal immigration was a problem and we should stop that flow to bring them to ports of entry and then recreate a better legal system coming into the country, something a bill or, or a concept the president has put out. So he has a lot of places he can go and say, I could get this done, but these people won't let me. Won't you help me in November and vote for better people. I think he has a lot of options at play here. And they absolutely, in the Republican Party, see this as a winning, winning argument. Reporting from Yahoo News and the AFP, according to immigration authorities, more than 40,000 immigrant families apprehended at the border since March 19th and with no known criminal record have been released into the United States due to Border Patrol facilities being swamped. Ed how long does this have to run before it starts becoming a problem in cities, not just along the border, not just in Northern California, but also in places like Indianapolis? What happens when Border Patrol starts dropping people off there? But it's already happening. We don't have to ask. Remember, the president said we should put these people in sanctuary cities, and the sanctuary cities got up in arms. I said on this very network, we should put them in the hometowns of Democratic presidential candidates. Right. Let's see what they have to say on the record. It was Jay Johnson, the former uh, Secretary of Homeland Security under President Obama. The population of Orlando came into the country in two days. So they're going to go somewhere. Hmm. It's already a problem. And the Democratic Party's answer is no head in the sand, pretend it's not a problem, pretend that it's just all our fault for not caring about people, when the truth is we care far more than it seems they do when they favor a policy that says, hey, unaccompanied minor, hey, small child, come across the border without your parents. We wish you the best yeah. of luck. All right, well, Tony Katz with us. Uh, as always, we don't have to wonder where either the president stands or where you stand on uh, issues. Good to see you, sir. Appreciate